Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this video is going to introduce you to something called an exponential growth function. Okay, so when you think of something that grows, when something grows, it, it gets larger. Okay, and that's exactly what an exponential growth function does. Okay, so let's take a look at this first first box over here, and we have the function f of x equals a times b to the x. Okay, you know by now that the a value is the starting point. Okay, and the b value, okay, in this case is going to be the growth. But the b value has to always be greater than 1, okay? And then the x is just the exponent. All right, this right here is key, okay? For the graph to be an exponential growth function, that b value has to be greater than 1, all right? So take a look at this uh, this graph over here, okay? So remember, we always read graphs reading them left to right, okay? And look what happens to the y values as we go from across here. So here it looks like the y value is around, I don't know, maybe 2. And here the y value, all right, is maybe around, I don't know, 4. And then here, it's I believe it's around 8. And now we're at 16, okay, and 32. So the y value, okay, is, is at 2, and then 4, and then 8, and then 16, and at 32, all right? So can you figure out what the growth value is? Okay, it's, it's times 2, okay? So that is definitely a nice example of, of an exponential growth function, where basically the y values are doubling, okay, um, across the, the graph. So let's take a look at the next one, okay? And this one, we have a series of, of functions, okay? We want to know which one of these show expon exponential growth, okay? So the first one, we have y equals 3x plus 2, and that's linear, so definitely not, not this one, okay? This one over here, again, this is a linear graph, so that's not exponential growth. Uh, this one over here, we have y equals negative 4x plus 2. Uh, again, that's another linear function, so that's not it. Now here we have y equals 3 times 5 to the x power, and this b value is more than 1, right? So that means yes, this one would show exponential growth. And here we have y equals 2 times 3 fifths to the x power, and this one is not, because this the b value is not greater than 1, okay? Uh, this is going to be something called the decay function, which you're going to learn about uh, soon, all right? So now that you understand kind of the key characteristics of exponential growth functions, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do with these practice problems, okay? So the first function, we have y equals 5 times 4 to the x, okay? And remember, that b value has to be greater than 1. So in this case, our b value is 4, which is greater than 1. So yes, this one is an exponential growth function. Uh, the next one, y equals negative 7x plus 1. Well, that's linear, so this is absolutely not what we're looking for. Here we have y equals 2 times 1.5 to the x power. And this B value is more than 1, so this is 1, yes. Here we have Y equals 2 times 8 tenths to the X power. And this would not be 1 because, again, the B value has to be more than 1, and this is less than 1. Here we have a linear function. This is a linear graph, so that's not what we're looking for. And last but not least, we have a graph that is quickly increasing in the Y values as we, we go across the X, right? So this would definitely be an exponential growth function as well. All right, how'd you do?